Uh, welcome back. Today I am doing the free code camp sum all odd Fibonacci numbers. Um, so for this one we're given a positive integer which is num and we just want to return the sum of all the odd Fibonacci numbers that are less than or equal to num. Um, so if you don't know a Fibonacci sequence I guess the thing actually starts at zero. So zero, uh, well we can omit it I guess in this one, 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 two, three, five, eight. Um, and so what's happening here, the pattern um, is it's basically taking um, well, yeah, taking the first two numbers, um, and then that computes the next number. So one and one is two, and then one and two is three, and then two and three is five, three and five is eight, and then so on and so forth, basically. Um, and then, so if we do some fibs of 10, because we're doing only the odd Fibonacci numbers, we should expect to 10 to be returned because it will be one, one, three, five. Um, Obviously, as you can see here, there would be a two and an eight, but we don't return those or add them to the sum um, because they're even numbers. So just the odd numbers that we want. Um, so for this one, uh, there's, I guess, a couple of ways you could do this, and it got really quite complex, but I think this is the simplest way um, I could find. But essentially, we're going to have a, a previous value, which we'll just set as one. We'll have a current value, which is also one, and then we'll also have sum. Um, which will just start off as one as well. Um, and what we're going to do is run a while loop and obviously add to the sum each time, but we need to update the previous um, value with the current after we've added it each time, um, because obviously what we're doing is adding um, the previous two numbers to then get this next number that we're adding to the sum each time. Um, so it's a little bit complex, but let me show you this anyway, and we'll return sum here. And just so we can see the work as we go, we'll just console.log wrap around the function call at the bottom. So you can see we're returning one at the moment because that is sum. So I'm going to create some space and just do while. And also you have to be careful not to do an infinite loop here. So um, we're going to do while num is less than or equal to current. And we'll open this up. And first thing I'm going to do is just do car current plus plus. Um, so yeah, basically for each iteration through, whilst num is less than or equal to one, um, oh sorry, whilst current is less than, um, oh yeah, less than or equal to num, let's just do it that way so it's a little bit easier to understand. Um, if I just console.log fired, you will see the while loop going through um, four times here. Um, if we obviously did less than, it would be three. But yeah, we want less than or equal to, as you can see here, to num. So yeah, we've got our while loop here. And then we obviously want to perform a check um, in here. So you want to check if current uh, modulo two is equal to one. And this will mean it's an odd number. Um, the modulo operator basically divides, I think, by itself, um, or in this case, two, sorry. And obviously, if there's a remainder value, basically, so it, two divided by two um, would be zero. Um, so that would obviously it's an even number, as in current is an even number. Um, but if we let's say did three, there would be a, a remainder here, and that's why there would be one. Um, the alternative is to do not equal to zero. That would also show um, just get the false values. But um, yeah, it's a preference, I guess, of sort of how you might like to um, check for that. If I just console.log current here, we should see, ju see just the odd values. And then if I change that to not equal to, oh, sorry, not equal to one, um, we can get the even numbers, so two and four. Um, so yeah, that's that's how we can do that. Um, and obviously at this point, we just want to do sum plus equals current. Okay. And obviously at the moment now, we've, we're have we getting five. And if I hit enter, I think that will actually pass the first and then yeah the this one here where we're doing four because it's it's going through all, all okay uh, but for some of the the large numbers that that's not going to be enough um we need to use our, our previous state and sort of keep adding to it um as, as we go through especially when the the ranges get bigger i guess in terms of um you know sort of the pattern here so um one way to do this would be if I go outside here, we're going to create a temporary variable um, and we'll let that equal to current. Um, if I'm right, yeah, and then we want to basically 
current plus equals previous. And then at the very end, we just want to set previous to the temp value. Um, and I'm not sure actually that is correct. Let me just double check my notes here of what I just typed out. Um, yeah, that's all fine. Oh, I think it's the, the plus plus here. Um, because we, sorry, so I basically did the updating current twice. Um, so if I run the test now, we can see that all passes, but I'll just go through this because it is a little bit tricky to understand. So essentially, we at the very start, we are setting a previous and a current to one. Um, basically just doing that because I don't know if it would work if we start at zero. We can try. Um, yeah, no, because we're obviously trying to add to uh, nothing, but it doesn't matter as well because Fibonacci... I guess in their eyes starts at one um, and also we're doing odd numbers only so this way kind of works for that um, yeah so we've got a previous a current and a sum whilst the current is less than or equal to num um, and it's an odd number we're updating the sum with the current so the first time it would go through I think it would add one um, and then obviously so yeah so let's say that basically we'll do this this example so we've just added one to sum and sum is now two um, and you can see here we're sort of doing that so sum is two and we're doing temporary is equal to current um, which is one and then current plus equal the previous value is two and then um, the previous value is equal to temp which is one so that's how we're we're sorting that out essentially. So just quickly, if I so on the first iteration, current is one, um, and then and then it changes to two <laughs> is two, and then previous is one. Um, so current is one when added to sum, and then we go through we update the current with the new value and previous is set to current's old value. Um, so that's the, the state of play when we go through the first time. Obviously, when we go through again, we've got another one. So current is two this time when it's added to the sum and then the sum becomes three, right? Because we're adding the one from before and the current. Um, so then current or yeah, so previous would be two and the current would be three. And then we're going through again and we're doing, as you can see, three and two would be five, current is three, um, and so on and so forth. And actually that's it, right? We've got our 10 there. Um, so at that point, because current is, um, I guess, greater than uh, the num, we then come out of that whole while loop, which is here, so that whole body, and then we just return the sum there. So as I said, if I actually pull in, let's say 100, um, let's just do 40 actually, and we can see we've got 44. Um, and what I'll do is if I just console.log car, we should be able to see all of the odd numbers that make up that 44 value, um, which is all of these here. So 1, 3, 5, 13, and 21. And obviously that includes our original one as well. Um, so yeah, that's, I guess, my solution to uh, what's this, some all odd Fibonacci numbers. Um, if you do have a better solution, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to see it. Um, it took me a while to come up with this and um, actually, yeah, had to uh, see how some other people did it as well. But yeah, I think this makes the most sense to me um, rather than using for loops. And there's, I know there's some other solutions here on YouTube, but um, this is, yeah, the, the, the best way that I came up with. So yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.